My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of If, the newest movie from John Krasinski, and I think he's a great director. I really liked The Hollows, and A Quiet Place is perfection. That movie is just tension-filled and brilliant and just an amazing movie in every way. And I also really liked the sequel. So when this movie about imaginary friends was announced, I was really excited. I was curious to see what he would bring to this movie. But then the first trailer came out and my expectations immediately dropped. I thought it looked really bad and that if joke was just embarrassing. So I started to get worried and after seeing it, yeah, this movie's pretty terrible. But let's begin talking about the cast and Kaylee Fleming is the star of this movie and she is easily the best part. She is great here. She keeps this movie grounded. She does everything she's supposed to so incredibly well and despite being surrounded by A-listers, she by far gives the most impressive performance. Just great job. Then we've got Ryan Reynolds who I think does a fine job. It doesn't just feel like he's playing Deadpool like it typically does nowadays. He just doesn't have much material to work with. Like despite being in so much of the movie, he still doesn't feel like much of, of a presence. Then we've got John Krasinski. Look, I love The Office. I think he's a great actor. This is by far his worst performance. I think he's legitimately atrocious here. I get everything he's trying to do with this performance. It just felt so phony. It never felt genuine for a single second. Then we've got Fiona Shaw, who I thought did a fine job. Alan Kim, he's fine in this movie. Uh, Steve Carell. It's a Steve Carell voice performance. Nothing great, nothing awful. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, eh. And Louis Gossett Jr., I actually quite liked his performance. So, um, yeah, you've got a wide range of different quality performances. Um, but now let's actually talk about the story because I do get everything it's going for here. The movie touches on heavy ideas and it tries to be emotional and thought-provoking and it just falls flat. I, I, I watch this movie and I see what they're going for. Just in the execution, it doesn't land. It doesn't land. Uh, the main plot with all these different imaginary friends trying to reunite with their humans feels so random and feels so unneeded. Like it just feels like a subplot in the middle of the movie. And then when the ifs do reunite with humans, all that happens is that they turn red. So you don't really get any bit of payoff either. It just feels so artificial. It feels so hollow. And that didn't work for me. And I don't want to give away the ending of this movie, but I just feel like they backed out. I feel like they were going to go someplace darker. And they didn't. And as a result, the movie just, it feels like empty fluff. It's, it's not good. Once again, I can watch this movie and be like, oh, okay, this is about growing up and losing that childlike wonder and trying to reconnect with who you once were. I see that on the movie, but it's just empty. You know, the only bit of emotion comes from Kaylee Fleming's performance. 
it, it just feels like a woof draft. That's what it feels like. Like, I'm surprised the movie exists the way it does because it feels so obviously messy. It feels very unfocused and it didn't work for me. But I do want to end on a positive note. Uh, the CGI I do really like. I like the character design. It's very unique. It's very memorable. So I'll give the movie that. And yeah, it's not good. It's a terrible movie. Um, it just is trying so hard and it never feels genuine. So I'll give if a three out of 10. I will say though, that with the exception of Dune, this is by far the busiest theater I've been in all year. Like, I think it might actually be a bigger hit than people are expecting, but I guess we'll see. But if, have you seen it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.